China is nearly at the edge of containing the coronavirus epidemic. What impresses you the most in China's fight against the virus? They've tried very, very hard to slow down transmission and, and ended transmission. So there's two really critical measures to slow down and to stop transmission. The first type of measure is called containment measures, testing a lot of people who could be cases to identify who really has coronavirus and then isolating them in special facilities so they can't spread transmission to other, spread the infection to other people. How about the other countries' measures now? Other countries like the United States, United Kingdom and some other European countries, Italy particularly, have really got a lot of infections. Maybe some of them haven't been detected yet, but they will be detected in the coming days and weeks. And infection is still spreading, so numbers are going to be increasing for weeks to come. For the United States, there was an early delay in getting the testing kits out to all the different areas in the United States, all the different states. That's now been solved. But still, I think they should be testing more people than they're testing. Why can't they do more testing? In the laboratories in the United States, I think they're not used to having so many tests to be done in a short space of time because it's not the usual practice to test patients for viruses, for example. In China, they were able to really increase the laboratory testing capacity very, very quickly, uh, particularly in Wuhan and in Hubei province. In the United States, it may take more time to do the same kind of thing to really scale up laboratory testing capacity. It may not be possible to do it in such a short space of time now. What is their logic? Maybe allow infections to occur in the less vulnerable groups because ultimately they can't be prevented anyway. And after a certain proportion of the population has been infected, then you have herd immunity and you don't need to worry about taking those kind of extreme measures anymore. Once you reach herd immunity, you can relax a little bit but there's nowhere in the world that's yet reached herd immunity for coronavirus. So basically waiting for herd immunity? The way that we'll have herd immunity is either when a, a substantial proportion of the population have been infected and then immune, or if we have an effective vaccine, maybe in a year or two's time. So for the coronavirus, because we think the reproductive number is about two, maybe two and a half, then we need half the population to be immune so that then it wouldn't spread if there is an infection coming in. About wearing masks, you see almost everybody in Hong Kong and Chinese mainland wearing a mask on the street. But in some of other countries, they say healthy people do not need a mask. What do you think? Masks definitely work. If everybody's wearing masks, there's less chance that people, if they have infection on their hands, they won't touch their nose and their mouth. So that's one way it works. And if they're in a room where there might be an infected person, they don't know it. By having a mask, it will block some of the virus from coming in. It. I think there's some misconception about face masks. So the reason that other countries say it doesn't work is not necessarily for healthy people. Maybe not because of the evidence, maybe just because they don't have the supply, so that if they wanted to recommend everybody wear face masks, the next question, where's the supply? And they don't have supply.